Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitale and on this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen I want to share with you how to make a loaded, um, I'm going to call this a loaded broccoli cheese spaghetti squash. It's fantastic, a bit of an alternative to like broccoli and cheese loaded uh, potato skins which I have had, uh, I do have a recipe on laurainthekitchen.com for that. But if you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit less carb but perfect for those football games right, ta- right now this time of year, um, I think you'll really enjoy this recipe. And with a side salad, it's also a fantastic dinner recipe, not just like an appetizer. Um, it's just good. So I'm going to share with you how to do this. I've got some spaghetti squash here. I have a small one that I just cut in half lengthwise. I didn't do the best job, but you know what? It is kind of difficult to cut a spaghetti squash. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just very carefully get rid of as many of the center seeds as possible. It's a little bit hard to do um, just because it's really hard in there, but you just want to get rid of as many of the seeds as you can. And if some get left behind, it's fine. We'll just take those out once it's roasted. Now that you have that done, you're going to just add a small drizzle of olive oil to each one. Beautiful. A good bit of salt. And then you're going to flip these upside down. And you're going to pop them into a 400 degree oven for 45 minutes to an hour or until a knife pierced through the center, you know, the middle of your squash comes out easily. And then you will let them cool a bit and I will show you what it looks like when it's there. And then we'll make our filling and it's just going to be fabulous. All right, so what we're gonna work on next is making the filling for the spaghetti squash because I want this part to cool a little bit anyway, plus it's gonna be out of the way so that when that's done, this is done, we unite, we bake, we eat, we're happy, I'm laying on the couch, I'm watching Netflix, that's too much information for you, but you get the point. (laughs) Um, That's a great thing about winter, it's like that cozy time of year where it is so acceptable to wear like sweatpants all day, amazing. In a skillet, a little bit of olive oil, medium heat, to it, I'm going to add some chopped onion. Um, I don't necessarily need this to caramelize and get dark brown. I'm also going to add my garlic. Uh, I just want these to sweat and I want them to soften. I want them to draw. I want to draw out their moisture a little bit, which is why I'm going to add a pinch of salt to them now. And I'm going to babysit them. I'm going to babysit them until they cool down, cook down a little bit. Maybe develop a little color around the edges, and then we'll move on to the next step. That looks great. Now I'm going to add the broccoli florets. These are fresh broccoli. <laughs> this is a fresh broccoli. It's fresh broccoli florets that I just cut into little like smaller pieces. And I'm just going to add a little, another little pinch of salt to them. And I'm going to just saute all of these together until the broccoli just kind of cooked down a little bit. But I don't want them to lose their crunch and color. So it's probably going to take me like mm, five to six minutes to get them where I want them. And then I'm going to set this aside to cool. And I'll show you when everything comes out of the, um, of the oven, well, when the squash comes out of the oven. My squash is done. It was in the oven for about an hour. We've got our filling here. Now, remember, we cooked the onions and the garlic and the broccoli. And now I'm adding some sour cream. I'm adding some cream cheese because I want this to be really creamy and delicious. I'm also going to add a little bit. I'm using provolone here, so I don't have any shredded. Um, but I really like a little mild provolone here for a little intense saltiness and also this kind melts really, really nicely. Uh, but if you want to use some shredded cheddar, mozzarella, Swiss Gruyere, whatever, whatever you want, whatever you've got, by all means, go ahead and use that. I'm going to add that right in there, along with a grating of Parmigiano Reggiano and a pinch of salt. And then we're going to mix all of this together and add the strands. I'll show you. I'll do one now just to show you what I'm working with. And then I'm just going to take the strands of my squash. Just make sure you leave a little bit of a border if you're going to bake this back in the squash, which I am. Um, Otherwise, it's going to kind of fall apart. Add that all in there. That is what I want it to look like. And now I'm just going to take this mixture and I'm going to just stuff it in my halves. And that's it. That looks beautiful. I'm going to take a, a piece of provolone. I'm just going to do one because there's some, some already in there as well. And a little grating of parm. And this is going to go into my oven. Remember, it's been preheating. Well, it's, it's preheated. I don't know if I even told you this, but 
it's a 400 because I never turned it down from the squash. And it's going to go in there for 15 minutes or so or until it's a lovely golden bubbly yummy 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 on top and I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. Just sprinkling some dried parsley on top. These were in the oven for 20 minutes and look how gorgeous. Now you can serve a whole one to somebody if you want to for a very generous portion. I think about a little bit of this with a nice, oh, I love this. With a nice green salad would be perfect. A wonderful, rich, satisfying, slowly a lot of carb dinner. Perfect. Let me just wait for a second because this is really, really hot. Mmm. Mmm. Broccoli is so crunchy. Really cheesy. Mmm. Really creamy. That is a money maker. Mmm. Laura in the kitchen .com. Get the recipe. Make it. You will not regret it. I promise you. That is a money maker waiting for you to make it. Couldn't just spend time with me. This is gonna be my lunch, so I will see you next time. Bye.